So, Talat, do you think, is there a difference between creative expression and cultural activity? No, I, I think they're, they're quite linked. Mm -hmm. Of course, they're different in a manner that sometimes you, 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 you're doing cultural things that can mm -hmm. be also repetitive. Mm -hmm. So you're not being too creative sometimes. Right. But I think creativity flows from culture and heritage. Mm -hmm. I think the right kind of creativity. And I, and I say that because, for example, if you have just watched, you know, there's in this, um, you know, if you've just watched, for example, Beauty and the Beast mm. and Cinderella, yeah. So all your stories, writing, all your dramas and all your plays will revolve around that. Mm. But if you explored everything there is to explore yeah. that you can possibly explore mm. in terms of mm. even your own uh, whatever stories we have mm. here, mm. and then obviously also exposure to the, the other foreign ideas, then I think you'll be able to really, really come up with something which is more relevant to your own cultural context. Yeah. But at the same time, it's not out of date and out of step with the modern world. Mm. which is really the idea. I mean, we should be able to prepare our children that they're anchored very strongly in their own identity and mm. heritage mm. and yet be global citizens. Yes, absolutely. And do you think that one sort of factor in this is also that when we think about our own culture and often we think of it as, of it as folk art, that, you know, sort of ethnic. Yes. But it's, there's a, it's always seen as kind of a low form of culture. Yes. Sort of ethnic things, like like you said, like a dhoti, for example, isn't really seen as a sophisticated or as something. Even languages, huh, yes? mean, the, in, the intangible part. Mm. I mean, look at, uh, for example, most children uh, in these so-called very very upper class mm. and high quality schools yeah. would be discouraged from speaking any other language but English. Oh yes, absolutely. I think so, at one, uh, yeah. I think back in the day, you would get a fine for speaking Urdu in break. Yes. So, exactly. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, like, well, it says it says mm. a lot about a lot our mindset.